Hey guys, it's Alex with Paragon Performance. Today we're gonna to be installing these smoke sequential turn signals for the C8 Corvette. Let's get to the install. All right, so we gotta start here by removing this mirror glass. If you notice, this one's different than the OEM one. This has our Paragon wide angle mirrors at it. If you haven't taken a look at those, I would definitely check them out, because now would be a good time to install those as well. We need to line this outside edge here with some, some tape as we gotta stick a screwdriver down behind this mirror glass to release some clips to take it off. So we're gonna get the tape put on there. And you can roll it up and over, just try not to stick it to the actual mirror cap because we do need to remove that. Now we've got our surface taped up here and protected. We're gonna take this mirror, we're gonna rotate it all the way towards the inside and then push it all the way down. And this will actually expose a couple of the clips. It's a little hard to see here on the camera, but when I get the mirror out, I'll kind of point out the clips here for you. But we've got some little clips in here that we need to take a small flathead screwdriver. We actually need to pry the clips up and away and while kind of holding a little tension on it, on it outward. I like to start with this one here in the top corner. Then you can reach back in and do the one, undo one of them here for this other side and then reach down and undo one of the ones here on the bottom. Once you've got those undone, you can kind of use your screwdriver and push the plastic piece the mirror actually attaches to back in just a little bit. And you just gotta kind of wiggle it around and eventually it'll just come unclipped. As you can see here, you're gonna have two tabs per corner of the mirror. We're only undoing a couple of them, but these have a little ledge on them and we're basically taking this tab and we need to pull up and out on them to release them from the mirror housing, these two tabs. Right, we're gonna undo some of the connectors here on the back. We're gonna have the two wires for the heating element, the two wires here for the uh, blind spot monitoring. Disconnect the wires for the integrated turn signal that is in the Paragon mirror. There we go. We're gonna set this aside. Next, we need to actually remove this outer mirror cap. We're gonna place a little bit of tape here along this seam as we do need to stick a pry tool in here to release a clip that's down here at the bottom. Let's get the tape put on there. And if you can, just try to tuck the tape under that mirror cap. And then next, we're gonna start here on the front side and release some clips there. All right, so we're gonna start here by releasing the outboard clip. There is a small tab here that we need to pry down as well as a little box that sticks down in that we need to push back on. We use the plastic pry tool and pry down on that. And then using your flathead screwdriver, push back on that plastic box. You should be able to release the mirror cap. Sometimes it doesn't always work that way and you have to kind of release this inboard one and then come back to the outboard one. Okay, we'll double check this one. All right, so we've got that released. Now we just need to release this clip on this outer edge here. Now that we've got this top edge here free, you'll be able to see that we can kind of move this corner up and down. We're gonna take the plastic pry tool, insert it in underneath, and just kind of slide it down this edge. And when you get, get down to right about where the, the light comes across here, you're just gonna kind of slide it in and then we're just gonna wiggle the mirror around a little bit and it just pops right off. I would suggest doing this in a warm environment so the plastic clips don't break when that pops off of there. We're gonna start here by removing some of the pieces around this side marker light. We're gonna start here by locating the connector here and unplugging it. There's no clip or nothing on it. You just gotta wiggle it and pop it out. We need to remove a Phillips head screw from here, here, and here. Then we need to access this one Phillips screw here and take it out. Now we can take this outer trim piece off. Now that we've got that trim piece off, this light, we're gonna pull this tape here off the side. We won't need that anymore. All right, 
So now we're gonna take and we're gonna grab this top piece of plastic here that's part of this outer trim of the mirror. We're gonna kind of pull it straight out and back. You do have to pull it out pretty far. So make sure that we're doing this in a warm environment. This plastic is not cold so we don't damage any of the plastic. In the light, you're gonna be able to just kind of wiggle it straight up and out of there. Perfect, just like that. Now we've got it out, we'll grab the new one and get that one installed. Now we've got our new smoked sequential side marker light here. We're going to get that reinstalled in kind of the reverse order that we took it apart here. Pull the plastic out and just kind of wiggle it down past, keeping track of your wiring that it stays out and forward that towards the front of the car there. Okay. Put our trim bezel piece on the front and the screw back in, reinstall our three screws here on the back and plug in our electrical connector. While installing the front trim piece, also make sure all your wire connectors pass through. As a reminder to plug your connector back in. And then always double check that the light works before you get everything put back together because you can actually plug this in either direction and it will only work plugged in one way. Remove the rest of our tape. When reinstalling the mirror cap, we need to locate this inboard clip that goes down here in the bottom side of the mirror. That's gonna be the most, the most important clip to get started first. Install that clip that we just pointed out into this notch here. You're gonna to wanna to kinda of do it at an angle here. Like so. And then making sure that this outer edge of this sits under the lipped edge of this trim piece. Just like so. And then you just rotate the mirror cap on. And you will audibly hear all the clips latch into place. And it is on and ready to go. Now we have everything plugged back in. We just need to install the mirror in place, keeping in mind those clips that we had talked about earlier when we removed this. We do need to make sure that they are lined back up appropriately and that all of them clip back into place. And you can always move the mirror around, shine flashlights in around the, around the perimeter and make sure that they have clipped into place. There you have it, pretty simple install. Don't forget to check out those C8 wide angle mirrors. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you next time.